Hi, you guys. I'm Lindsay, and welcome to Inside the Hem, where we dive into all things sewing with style and budget in mind. This holiday season, I am bringing you something special, 30 days of festive fashion sewing. Every day, we'll explore a new sewing project idea to help inspire your holiday wardrobe, whether you're going for cozy, chic, or a little bit glam. Join me each day as we add a touch of handmade magic to this season's celebrations. Let's dive into today's festive project, which is a beautiful knit top. After sharing so many great bottoms projects this week, I thought it would be nice to find one top that would look great with all of them and still be suitable for a celebration. And if you've been paying attention to the outfits from the Ready to Wear Inspirations this week, you probably all noticed that they were styled with some sort of close fitting knit top. So that's just what we're going to be recreating today. The main inspiration is the top styled with the tool skirt from yesterday's video, a crisscross off the shoulder top. Let's take a look at the ready to wear inspiration I found to see how we can achieve this style for the holidays. Okay, so if you remember yesterday's video, we looked at this tool skirt and I was looking at this tool skirt and I'm thinking to myself, that top is also really cute, very great for the holidays and it kind of already reminds me of a pattern. You guys might already be thinking of it too, but before we get there, um, let's look through the information about this top. So we've got crisscross off the shoulder cotton top in red. And then it tells us that autumn vibes are real with long sleeves, cotton top, simple and soft top features a crisscross off the shoulder design, side ruche detailing, timeless staple in your wardrobe so as it can be styled in many ways for any occasion. So all it says is that it's 100% cotton. It doesn't even fully say that it's a knit top, but I am pretty confident that it is a knit um, just because there's no zipper closure, there's no way to really get into it. If it were woven, that would just be, I don't know, kind of strange. So crisscross, off the shoulder, ruched, long sleeves can only be one pattern, right? And it's Vogue 1973. <laughs> okay, I mean, not only is it an exact match for the inspiration top, but honestly, this one fits much better. I feel like this one is too big on her, um, but we can make ours fit a lot more fitted like this. Now, this one is a bodysuit, okay? But we don't have to make it a bodysuit. You can absolutely just cut it off right where like the, the bikini part starts you still want it to be long so you can tuck it in and it doesn't come undone but you absolutely do not have to make it a bodysuit so this is close fitting off the shoulder bodysuit has crossed bands that create a soft v neckline at the bodice and forms a fold over back bodysuit includes sleeve link variations and fastens with snap closures meaning at the crotch um, looking at this a little bit better you can see we still have the ruched sides this wraps around the back and crisscrosses. It's really, really so beautiful. There's also this ruched detail here. Here it is with kind of a pleated skirt and definitely styled to impress with this like sparkle fabric. I feel like I see, have seen that at Joanne as well, but this is technically, this is a pleated skirt. She's just a little bit more ball gowny of a skirt. There it is with the pants again. This like Star Wars look, I never understood the styling of this, but whatever, we can do better, right? We will do better, but there it is in the back, really pretty. But you see how much more, I don't know, polished and more expensive our version looks than theirs, just based on fitting alone. So really, really great pattern. This one, they are recommending um, four-way stretch knits with 75% cross grain stretch, like rayon spandex and cotton spandex. Now, if your fabric does not have 75% cross grain stretch, then you can size up or down if it has more or less stretch than that. Also, it's calling for four-way stretch because it's a bodysuit and you need that vertical stretch for the bodysuit. If you cut this off here, you don't need four-way stretch. You only need two-way stretch, okay? Um, bodysuit B with the long sleeves is what we're going for. So two and five-eighths, you can remove a little bit if you want for the crotch that we're not gonna be using but uh, close to two and a half yards is what you will need for that. Um, finished garment measurements, but again, without body measurements. So that's not super helpful. But what you're looking for is negative ease 
in the bust and in the waist, to be quite honest. Maybe the waist has zero ease, but you do want it to be negative ease in the bust so that these kind of fully wrap around you. That's the difference between something that fits like this versus something that fits like this. She has positive ease in hers and we don't want positive ease. We want negative ease for sure. All right. So fabric wise, I went to my very favorite um, cotton jersey fabric and that's the midweight cotton jersey from Style Maker. It comes in 578,222 color options. So many to match whatever skirt, pants, whatever that you're wearing it with. Um, it does have 60% stretch, so that's very close to our 70%, so or 75 that they called for. So you can, like if you're in between sizes, size down, you can use smaller seam allowances to make up for the 15% stretch that's missing. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just such a great quality cotton jersey, um, cotton spandex blend to be exact. And it is a little bit wider than what you might be used to. It's 62 inches wide. So again, you could get even less yardage um, than the two and a half that it called for. So what do you think? One top, three different bottoms. You could go to a bunch of different parties, kind of look different. I don't know. I just thought that it was a beautiful top and would look very romantic and stunning for the holidays. So Thanks for joining me for today's festive frock project. I hope it sparked some inspiration for your holiday sewing. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on tomorrow's project. I can't wait to see you back here for more 30 days of festive fashion. Happy sewing!